I love this time of the year when everywhere I, I go, I see red, white, and blue and all of the um, patriotic decor in the stores and just around different places. I'd love to be able to decorate my house, but I can't really do that right now because it's still very crowded and pretty chaotic. So I decided to um, come clean off my porch and give it a little refresh and add some pretty red, white, and blue on my porch. I kind of just went around in my house and looked around and collected some things that I thought would look really pretty and then I added a couple more things to that and that's what I'm going to show you today. So the star was on my back porch and I really like the star. It um, works really well for decorating for patriotic and also it works good at Christmas time. I decided to make this little fabric bunting. I had some scraps of um, red ticking from some pillows that I made. So I made me a little pattern for the um, little triangles for the bunting. This is the small size. I have a larger size too, and I made a free um, printable for y'all of this pattern. If you want to make a bunting and you want to have a little pattern to start with, you can get this for free, and I'm going to leave a link to it in my um, description box on the video. So I am using pinking shears to cut out the fabric. That way I don't have to finish the edges any other way. It will just, um, it won't ravel or anything. And I really wanted this to be a super quick and easy little craft. It's not super fancy and it's definitely not perfect. So um, it's really pretty easy. Anybody can do this. And you can, I sewed mine, but you could do it um, a no-sew method too if you don't sew. So I'll show you how to do that. So I cut several of these. I think I did um, two blues and three reds and then I um, just laid them out here and I decided to use my star to measure some twine to see exactly how long I needed to make it be because I knew I just wanted it to go across there. So this is just garden twine that I'm using and I'm pinning my little triangles onto it so it'll be easier um, when I go to sew it. But at this point, if you don't want to sew it, you could use hot glue and you could just glue these things down. If you glue them, you probably need to make sure they're exactly where you want them. And if you sew them, make sure you don't catch the twine in your stitching so that you can adjust them after you're finished. So I'm just um, back stitching at the beginning and the end of each one of the little flags to keep them from coming unsewed. So even though it's pretty and sunny right now, we have uh, a storm coming and before the end of this video, you'll see that happening. So one of the things I did purchase to do my porch was some new fabric. I decided that I wanted um, to make some red ticking pillows and I had seen this blue star fabric and I thought it was so pretty. So I bought fabric for red ticking pillows and the blue stars and actually they're pillow covers and I have some of these available in my online store if you would like to get some also to um, do some decorating at your house. And I found the red pillow, the America the Beautiful, at a flea market. So I also have um, the blue stripe ticking in my online store too. So I have these pillow covers there that you can purchase and I'll leave a link to those also in my description box. And now I'm going to use some Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint along with a little of the 
easy mix to paint this thing I don't really know what this thing is it's like a little barrel thing on legs and um, I thought it would make a really good planter I had it in my booth for quite some time really cheap thinking somebody would buy it and paint it the color that they wanted it to be because it wasn't very pretty but they didn't so I've been thinking about it for a while bringing it home and painting it myself and I decided that it would be perfect for my um, patriotic porch so that's what I did I grabbed it and brought it home and here you're seeing it at what Miss Mustard Seed calls the ugly stage when it just has one coat of paint but I was really surprised and I'm so pleased with how well the um, new formula of paint covers with the whites the whites really have a lot better coverage in that one coat um, than they did before so originally I didn't distress it and you'll see that in the video but then I decided that I wanted to distress it so I wanted to include that here so that you could see how to do that this thing has some um, metal bands around it and I really wanted to bring those out where you could see them so it's not just so plain I think the stressing gives things a lot more um, definition and just makes it more interesting so that's what I'm trying to do here. You can see those bands a little bit there. I'm not gonna distress it too much because I really don't want that orangey paint color that was on there to show. So just getting a little bit distressed. And then I decided that I would seal it with the milk coat in the um, matte finish and this stuff goes on really quick and easy and it dries super fast um, I did this like around the thing and by the time I got back to where my starting point was it was already dry to the touch so it is a really quick drying finish and it'll protect that milk paint and I also sell milk paint the Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint in my online store too so if it's something that you want to use and try i would appreciate it if you would give my store um, a try uh, i'm going to leave a link to the milk paint in my description box also the other thing that i purchased for my porch were flowers I really, when I started thinking about this, I just envisioned having red and white flowers on the porch along with the pillows. And so um, I did. I found this really pretty petunia at Walmart. Um, I They only had one. They literally only had one red and white flower and this was it. But I thought it was really pretty so I was happy that I got it. And that is the little stand before it was distressed. And then I, of course, shopped my house and decided to use some of my um, Crocs. I have several of those and because most of them have, you know, the blue print on them, I thought that they go really well with the, the patriotic decor look. And here's the one. On the other side of my porch, I basically did some of the same thing. I added the pillows again. Here are those pillow covers, the, the star one that's a navy blue with stars, and then the red ticking. I just think they look really pretty together and then I had painted this flag um, it's a wooden flag several years ago I also used Miss Mustard Seeds paint to paint that and again here's another one of my Crocs with another red flower that I found at Home Depot and I love the chippy old blue table and that chair arm right there, that's not like mold and mildew on the arm of it. These chairs used to be green. And of course, I've just let them stay very distressed looking. And so that is the green paint that you can see on the arm of that chair right there. Although it kind of looks bad. 
but that is what it is. I love this number two croc. You can see how it's got some crazing and it's like really old and uh, it really fit perfect to be used as a planter for the flowers. I don't know what kind of flower this is, but I really liked it and I think it's really pretty. And the red flowers just really do, I think, add the finishing touch that my porch needed. Here's another one of my favorite Crocs. When I saw this one with the eagle on it, I got it a couple of years ago. I knew that it was like something that I wanted to have to decorate at this time of the year. And um, I really do, I really love it. It's one of my favorites. It's probably about a one gallon size. And this Croc is just plain. It doesn't have anything on it. It is a one gallon. But look at this really pretty red daisy that I found. I really like it and just thought it was really pretty. So I'm really enjoying the flowers that I have on the porch right now too. So my porch decorating isn't fancy. It's just pretty simple. And like I said, it's mostly things that I already had. But we have really been enjoying um, spending time out here since I added all of the red, white, and blue color and cleaned it up because you could see it was a little bit dirty before. But we've enjoyed sitting out here on the porch. And for that flag that I painted, I told you I used Miss Mustard Seeds Melt Paint. I used the colors Tricycle, Ironstone, and Ink Blue to do that. So if that's something you're interested in, again, you can find the milk paint in my online store. It's ramblingrosefarmhousemercantile.com, but you also can just go straight to it from the link that I'm going to use leave for you in the description box. So I really hope that you've enjoyed my video today and seeing my porch. I hope it gives you some inspiration to do some patriotic decorating at your house and it doesn't have to be fancy you can make yourself a little bunting and maybe grab a few pillow covers and just add some flowers and maybe if you have some crocs or other um, ironstone or something other things that you enjoy just use the things you have and make your um, environment beautiful so that you and your family will love it so I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you back again next week with another video.